With the fall season comes all sorts of fun from haunted houses to corn mazes and pumpkin patches. Yeah, the Borden Arboretum is bringing back its glass pumpkin patch this Friday. We had a chance to sit with lead artist Shannon Jane Morgan to see how the beautiful event comes to life. I actually saw a demonstration. I had no idea the human hand could do that and I was so mesmerized. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to gather 2,000 degree glass. And believe it or not, in about 12 or 15 minutes, this is actually going to be a really pretty pumpkin. You have to be kind of determined because it's not easy and it takes years to develop a skill set. With glass, it's very humbling. Today is a really good day, tomorrow is not, or then you have 10 days. Certainly after you've been doing it 15, 20, 30 years, you have more good days than bad. You grab a hold of this and we're gonna twist. And that's how we do one of our designs. The flow of glass is, is obviously very demanding and at best what you can do is keep it simple. The process of just moving to the furnace, to the bench, to the marver, that simple step. And then you get more efficient. Great job. Every time I have a combination that sort of becomes magical, I'm like, oh, that's why I've been hanging out for so many years, you know? So that's that reward. I have a smart aleck answer. How much, how long does it take to make a pumpkin? You know, 10 years and 15 minutes. Beautiful ridges, beautiful color, and given the year we've had, I could say that I take my troubles and my woes out in the studio, which is a good thing to do with, you know, the stress of our past year. All right, here's the fun part. This is my favorite part of making a pumpkin. I keep my numbers of artists small so that it's a very tight-knit group. And if somebody needs help, then we can all respond versus it's a group of 100 and it, we're already isolated enough. So when we come here, we call it glass camp. And so we just, you know, it's kind of nerdy. We talk about glass all the time. Most of us have been in high isolation. And so we're kind of giddy to be back in each other's company. But I want to have glass to be accessible to everybody as much as possible. It is a very expensive art form, no doubt. But when we show how hard it is to make, all of a sudden it's like people understand. But the best part about the money spent here is that it goes to the Arboretum. It's a nonprofit, and they do all the studies for trees. They support. They have you know 1,700 acres where there's not there's not a not beautiful place to be. And all the different events they hold here, and. For us as artists, this is a highlight event. This is like we work all year for this, and it's a big deal. All right, the glass pumpkins go on sale Friday at 1, and it runs through Sunday. You can catch Shannon's demonstrations daily through the weekend.